Hey ProSource, I'm Bruce. And I'm David from lightcanhelpyou.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about Color Beam. And it's completely different from the other manufacturers that we've taken a look at. So our setup is different, uh, but so is the product. The first thing you need to know about Color Beam is that it's a system from the ground up. We're not talking about just light fixtures and then you plug it into whatever. We're talking about light fixtures, um, power over low voltage, control via DMX and via their own processor, and it's an entire ecosystem. So inside of it, we've got just a selection of their fixtures. They have a bunch. They have outdoor, um, landscape, step lights, larger fixtures, uh, panels, you yeah, know, all kinds of different things. Skylight type things. Yeah, and a cool skylight that they showed at, at Light Fair, yeah. which you kind of see to understand because yeah. it's... it's, it's uh, uses crazy optics to make it feel like you're standing under sunlight, yeah. which is pretty amazing. Very cool. Um, so Mike and Mo put this kit together. Well, my, <laughs> I don't know if they physically put they it together. They colored the family. Thanks, yeah. Mike and Mo. Thank you. Um, put this together. It's got a sample of the fixtures, and then we'll talk a little bit about the other hardware that's going into this in a minute. But first, let's take a look at the fixtures. And to turn these on, uh, you have to have a computer to, you know, to log in and um, to the router. Um, we opened up the box a few minutes ago, took out the instruction sheet that was in it. This is kind of a standard dealer demo kit. Took out the instruction sheet and I would say within a couple of minutes we were complete, we had complete access to it. Um, we did run into a couple problems and I had to um, call Mike on tech support, but both of them were actually just wires that had come loose during the shipping and uh, handling of this unit. So this, the system worked great out of the box. Um, just check your connections and make sure they're all in there. Once you log in, though, you can take control of these fixtures, and they have a couple. Um, these two are tunable white. So the big difference here is that you know you can talk to a client and say, oh, uh, you know, we really like 2700K, but then they get in there with their paint finish, and they're like, you know, 2700K isn't the right color temperature. Well. In most of the other manufacturers, if you want to change that color temperature, it means you're potentially tearing out the downlight or at very minimum pulling out the module, uh, which is a very expensive piece of the light, and you're having to ship that back to the factory, order new ones, etc. Here, you know, you're punching a button on their software to say, oh, you want it cooler white? Well, we just go to cooler white. Um, you know, it's, it's dynamic, so you can go from cool to warm white, um, and even down to like daylight, I mean, uh, candlelight like a dimming a warm dimming glow as well and it's all really easy to do through the software and of course it is compatible with other control systems um, part of the loop here is just DMX so it's a um, universal protocol but you'll be able to speak to these fixtures um, and top of that though some of these others like the strip here for example um, you can get multiple different colors out of this. So this has got red, green, blue. It also has the ability to do 2700K, um, to do you know 5000K. So if you're looking for something that's tunable and RGB, you've got it here. And on the computer, in the interface that they've built, it's very simple. They've got a color wheel. So if you want to get a specific color, um, you can drag and drop sort of like a color picker and it will send the signal wireless and it will send the signal wirelessly and then DMX and then over to the um, fixture and you say hey you want magenta you've got magenta beautiful yeah they have a an RGB fixture here as well that does very similar things it has oh sorry that's the strip light control where's the RGB control there we go mm -hmm. um, so I can do the same thing with that one um, I would recommend using this one in places where you really want saturated color. If you're thinking about mostly white, use this line because they're the Bianca line because you're going to get a better um, white and a more collated chip um, mm -hmm. instead of seeing the three, um, three individual heads, yeah. diodes there. Yeah, but diodes. you know, it's a pretty cool thing. And then they've got Venus, which is which is this tiny little one, which is kind of fun. Um, get to the Venus control here. They've got shortcuts built in too, which is kind of nice. Um, and this is a tiny little aperture. It's like a one inch aperture. And again, you can do tunable, so I can get cool white out of that as well as warm white. So let me show you what goes inside the box and what's controlling all of this. First of all, from the laptop, it's signaling to a router that's built in here, a wireless router, that is then communicating to 
ColorBeam's processor, and ColorBeam's processor is taking all the information in there and translating it into DMX. That makes it easy, so on there I just click 2700K rather than having to set each channel individually. Uh, the processor and the interface are taking care of that. The DMX. the DMX signal is then coming over here, and these devices are being powered by power supplies. All of this is DIN rail mounted, and it's taking the control signal in, it's taking the low voltage signal in, and then it's sending it out over CAT5 or CAT6 uh, wire. So it's translating everything, putting the low voltage in, and sending out the right signals to each of the lamps. So you have a, a panel somewhere with all of this DIN rail, but as you can notice there's no dimmer per se, there's no dimmer panel. So it's compacted this. And then what's going to each of the fixtures is just the cat cable. So if we pull one out, you know, this is in essence the entire fixture. It's got cat five in the back, in and out, or with a terminator here. Um, so your housings in the ceiling can be quite a bit smaller than others because you're not running line voltage to it. Um, you're just running the low voltage. And that makes this system completely different from what else is out there. Now, can we control each individual light if we want to, or put them in zones based upon this as well? Well, each individual light has multiple channels. Okay. So, yeah, you can, um, depending on how you wire them, you can wire multiple into a zone, but you can also wire them individually so each light is its own thing and control the color of this one separately from the color of this one separately from the color of that one. Nice. So, um, and you're just sending the low voltage signal out to each one. Right, right. So color being cool stuff, um, if you want to do color changing, they're really the ones in the group to go to um, in terms of uh, recess downlights. Uh, and if you want to do low voltage uh, wiring, um, if you've got a situation where you're interested in that, this is also the, the, the go-to for that. I think color beam is, um, you know, we've been, we've been trying to be honest in these videos, tell you what we like and what we don't like. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm kind of an old school lighting designer, which means like, um, what do you mean low voltage? Yeah, you know, right, that's, yeah. That Still. scares me because I don't, it's not in my, uh, I haven't done a lot of that before, right? Yeah. But it's coming. There's um, new manufacturers. We were at Light Fair and we saw um, other manufacturers getting into this as well. Uh, so the low voltage seems to be a trend, um, yeah. and Color Beam is kind of on the front edge of that. Um, it is a proprietary system, so just like dealing with Lutron or somebody who has a proprietary system, um, you you are locked into that manufacturer. Um, but if you're if you've got tech savviness and you, you like what they're doing, um, they've got some really interesting product. Um, we're hoping that some of the downlights will um, continue to develop so that, you know, these are adjustable downlights, but we like something that's got a little bit deeper recess mm -hmm. um, and maybe a little bit different finish, um, you know, a little cleaner finish here. But otherwise, you know, it's a, it's a pretty solid product and uh, very easy to control, actually. I found it really yeah. easy to get into and work, even though I haven't worked with this system before. So that's Color Beam. If you want to learn about the other manufacturers, make sure to check out the other videos that we've put on here. And remember, light can help you. And we can help you with light.